Not good for the troops, but good for princesses. Tomorrow is Princess Day at the ballpark. Today, Armed Forces Day. Uh, happy Armed Forces Day to you, and thank you if you uh, served or are serving right now. Uh, first pitch at 105. They'll get the game in. I wouldn't, uh, I think, bring a towel to the game because your seats will be wet. And it's going to feel chilly. Certainly not a shorts and t-shirt kind of a day. It's <laughs> definitely going to be a uh, sweatshirt uh, jacket kind of day at the ballpark as uh, our, our uh, Buffalo Bisons take on uh, Rochester Red Wings. Speaking of Rochester, the eyes of the golfing world on uh, Rochester right now. And uh, rain in the morning uh, that should clear out by mid to late afternoon. Uh, there in uh, Rochester and tomorrow certainly the better day. It's going to look beautiful on TV with blue skies, but the, the players and uh, well, I guess the everybody attending will have to deal with rain showers today and kind of a breezy day as well. Uh, I show this because uh, you know your app may show and at the end of the day it'll say a high of 66. This was in the middle of the night. We are in the mid 60s. You know, 3 a.m. or so, uh, but a cold front bringing us rain and dropping our temperatures. So most of our day today will feel well, it will be in the upper 50s and with the wet grass and with the wind, it's going to feel more like kind of an April day today. Uh, you won't need to water today. Uh, after today, it was certainly all not, nothing but green flowers, great conditions uh, and the lots of sun which will need to provide the water because Mother Nature after today isn't going to provide any for several days across Western New York. Uh, so let's time out the exit of the rain for your uh, commencement parties, your birthday parties, whatever weddings you got planned today, whatever. Uh, so I'd say for Chautauqua County, uh, Jamestown, of course, included noon to one for Buffalo, uh, most of Erie County. And for uh, Niagara County, from 1 to 2, the showers will clear. And for the eastern part of our viewership, and for Pennsylvania, more 2 to 3. And then for, uh, for Rochester, for the, uh, if you're attending uh, the PGA or, or playing, it looks like a 3 to 4 uh, clearing for them. Notice the temperatures in the 50s. It's going to feel kind of chilly, too, as I said, with the wet grass and gusts up to 30 miles per hour as well uh, from the southwest. After this, I'll just let it go. After here's Saturday, here's your Sunday. I mean, you know, Saturday afternoon's dry, tonight's dry. Monday's dry, Tuesday's dry, uh, a, a Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, stop me if you get sick of this. So temperatures uh, falling into the upper 50s again, a bit on the breezy side as well. Not a pleasant day today. Let's call let's call it what it is. But you know we needed a little bit of rain, and after this we started a terrific streak streak of uh, several days in a row that I think extends into the Memorial Day weekend as well. Uh, sunny tomorrow, wind not a factor, cloudless for much of the day with uh, 68 degrees being the high temperature. And it's pretty fun as a forecaster when you try to determine statistically, is this going to be a sunny day or a mostly sunny day? So you notice I have mostly sunny for Monday, sunny, sunny uh, for Tuesday and great temperatures as well. And Southern tier, uh, you, your cloud level will be closer to sunny as opposed to where's oh Thursday. Your Thursday will be sunny as opposed to uh, mostly sunny for if you're north of Springville, but a great stretch of weather. Enjoy.